What's up everybody, Blake here, and this is Rambling Movie Takes, coming at you with a movie review for The Crow, the 2024 reboot starring Bill Skarsgård and FKA Twigs. Oh man. So I hope everybody's having a great day, great night, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and subjecting yourself to my rambling. But we're going to get through this video talking about a movie that, quite frankly, I did not like. I thought that th I thought this movie was utter bullshit. <laughs> like I'm not even gonna keep you in suspense, guys. If you saw my my out of the theater reaction, you already knew that this movie did not work for me. I did not care for it. I just did not care for it. And look, I'm a big fan of the original. I, I love the original, and, and I didn't expect this movie to live up to it. I really didn't. And I went into it hoping that I would find some enjoyment out of it. I didn't expect this movie to be great. I didn't expect it to be even close to being on par with the original. But I was just willing to give it a chance and judge it on its own merits. And that's what I did. I gave it a chance and I'm going to judge it on its own merits. And it's a bad movie. I, I'm going to keep this review as short and sweet as I possibly can. You know, because it's late. I'm tired. But I'm going to start with how I, I just did not buy into our lead characters. You know, Eric and Shelley. The whole love story thing, I, I just, I didn't buy into it. I didn't believe it. Um, they were like the fairly odd couple. You know, they had no chemistry at all. And they dedicate way too much time. To the, to the romance, to the love story. Like 40, 45 minutes, like the first 40, 45 minutes of the movie is dedicated to their to their story. And I, I wish they would have handled it the way they handled it in, in the original, which was through flashbacks. Um, I, I think that would have been better. It was a great way to handle things in the original because you got right to the action. In this movie, there is no action there is nothing until you know probably about an hour into the movie but by the time you actually get to it by the time i got to it i didn't care i just i was checked out i was ready to go home and and i did contemplate you know getting up out of my seat and leaving i really did that's how much i was hating this movie i just could not get interested in it and I will say this the last like 15 minutes of the movie I wish the whole movie would have been like that the opera scene I, I wish I wish the whole movie would have been like that because that was actually pretty cool and I, I just think it would have worked so much better for this movie had they went that route and I'll say this too you know as far as things that you know, are positive, like the world between worlds, you know, the limbo state, you know, delving into the, the, the crow mythology. Uh, that was pretty cool. That was something that's never really been explored in the other movies. So it was interesting to see it explored here, but they didn't do enough with it for me to ultimately really care all that much. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I got, guys. I mean, I, I don't want to, I don't want to keep y'all too long, and I'm ready to get to bed. As for my rating, I'll give it a four out of ten, I guess. Somehow that feels generous, but, but yeah, I mean, go see it if you want to. Don't see it if you don't. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video, and if you like what I did here, please do. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. And until next time, I'm Blake. Y'all have a good one.